But nah, e e e e daylight savers though. Um, so yeah, like I said, now it's getting dark so early. Hey, so imagine next year. When next year roll around, <laughs> how, how y'all think next year gonna be? Well, cause they, cause we're not participating. Here, yeah. Right? So what, what you think is gonna be next year? It's gonna be cool. Hey, okay. oh, you guys speaking to Mike over there? But y'all gonna talk. Y'all think that's wow? Y'all need to look into what year. Um, uh, where's, um, what country is that? Uh, where where it stayed light? No, no, it stayed dark? no. It's um, it's an African country. I forget. Damn, I'm gonna find the name. We're gonna find the name, but people listening right now, it's that country. Yep. It's that word, country. Like, word up. <laughs> it's that, it's word that up. one, bro. Just but say it. They're in 2014. The year is 2000. Oh, that's Ghana. They, that's they, Ghana. They didn't switch over oh. to the Gregorian calendar when we switch over to the Gregorian. It might be Ghana. Mm, yeah. Definitely. I seen okay. that. I seen that. Ghana. It starts with a G. It's not Ghana. It's not. It starts with a G though. It's African country though. Yeah. It's not Ghana though. Damn, that's, I seen that's that dope though. that you know that though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen the video like on crazy Instagram. I see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. I seen like, that. Like, oh, seen fun that. fact. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, um, but but yeah. Let me let me catch it before we before we get ten minutes into the show and don't intro it. Um, but we we we, we back with it because this is second time because <laughs> she left. <laughs> Cause she, cause we just did this before. Um, welcome back to another episode of the FTE podcast. You got your host, Cool Dex, Smoothie Dex, Driver Dex, International Dex, Grooving Dex, um, mm. Creative Dex, um, and, and once again, um, shout out to Major Lick Studios. Shout out to Hub Thirteen. Um, cause the vision is vision and vision and vision and vision. Um, uh. Shout out, shout out to the, uh, one of the owners right there. Look. Name. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes with it. Um, but yeah, the Hub 13. Um, shout, out, shout out to Hub uh, 13. Um, link tree in the bios. Um, and if you want, if you want these NFCs, I am smart cards. Um, hit up Major Look Studios on Instagram. That's actually I am smart cards. Oh, I, I said smart. Yeah, I said yeah, smart. I am smart. Uh, I appreciate that, gang. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're here to fix that. I'm glad you're here to fix that. <laughs> The um, I am art card because I was gonna say smart card. I was mixing it all together. Ah, hey. Um, but the I am art cards. Um, it's an NFC card where you can get your link trees on there. Um, uh, reach out to Major Look Studios for all the uh, detailing and pricing and how to get it to you. Um, but uh, yo, I got a special guest in the building. I seen this. I seen this. This this brother start up. I want to say I saw this beginning, but the first time I saw him, he was uh. He was in a shop full of older people, I would say. Yeah, um, so I feel like that uh, as a as a barber, but I feel like that right there is not an intimidation, but it's like I got to make sure I'm on my game because they might be a little bit more sharper, um, depending on if they've been doing it for a long time. Um, I seen the clientele was like amazing. I seen the work was fire, but I also saw the promotion as well for this person. Um, and I seen the consistency. Cause it's hard to stay consistent, especially with the pandemic happening too. You got to pivot through that. Definitely. Um, but yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got Vinny right here, man. Some of y'all know him, Vinny the barber, but I'm gonna respect <laughs> him and call him Vinny because he's a person outside of that. <laughs> um, for sure, for sure. But uh, but yeah, like I already said your name, but <clears throat> tell everybody where you from, and then we're gonna build from there. So um, I'm from Ewan. I'm at Dex, also in Ewan. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> working at a barber shop over there. Yep, yep. But uh, yeah, like he was saying. Just started off in the shop. A lot of progression. Um, consistent. Consistency definitely beats talent. Um, mm. That's something that I was told for sure. Speaking. Uh, you stay consistent, you know. It just is going to show your work. You might have a barber next to you who cuts really good, but he's not in the shop every single day. You get what mm. I'm saying? So if you're in the shop every single day, eventually his clientele is going to come over to you. Yeah. That's your shop. Mm -hmm. You're going you to make it or you're going you gonna miss. Mm -hmm. or, uh, you get what I'm saying? That happens mm -hmm. a couple times a week. Whatever, whatever. You build your clientele. You keep going. And eventually, you know, you outshine and your work speak for itself. That, that's dope that you understand that, bro. Cause mm -hmm. like con that's contrary to popular belief. Like you said, like like you said, you said consistency out it beats um talent. talent. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people that be talented as hell, but it's people out there that has less talented than them beating them because of their consistency. Exactly. Sure, sure. That you that you learned that you early. Definitely. Yeah. So 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 I appreciate you for that for that though. That was 
that was a good one but um what got you into like actually cutting hair like when was that first time you said like, you know what i'm about to cut somebody hair and did you fuck up be honest <laughs> be, be honest so that's two questions so the first question what got me into cutting hair uh when i was actually working at the shop you and one of the barbers I won't say no names <laughs> he, uh, he used to cut my hair you know when i was a young boy i was probably like 14 whatever mm-hmm. and uh he used to cut my hair one day he messed me up mm. long story short i went home Grabbed some clippers that I had at the crib and um fixed I, it. I fixed it. <laughs> I ain't really fix it. What, what you saying? what you had to do? Like what what, what he it messed up? Just, it was just the hairline. It wasn't oh. there. So I let it grow in and I fixed the hairline. So to mm. me, of course, it looked good because that was my that was my flaw. So I fixed the flaw, everything else. I didn't care how it looked, as long Dang. as the flaw looked how it looked. Uh-huh. So I was walking around for a little while looking crazy, <laughs> telling everybody I cut my own hair. Where, where? Nobody believed me, but I'm like, bro, I'm going to look at the back of my head. I can't touch the back. Dead. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so the yeah. back will be long, the front will be cool. <laughs> so from there, it kind of just, it just went for real. And, um, yeah. What, what? How did you get into the shop? That's a good question. So uh, from there, I kind of realized, like, okay, this is all I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So my original plan was to go to college. Um, mm-hmm. As I was trying to get into that path, scheme of things, um, you know, you got to take your SAT. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to go take the SAT. Um, I want to say I was a junior around time. My teacher was actually the one, you know, allowing people into the, into the school to take the test. You need your ID to get into the school. Mm-hmm. I didn't have my ID due to park testing that had just started up. Mm-hmm. But I thought I was cool because that was my teacher. You go let me in. You get what I'm saying? You go let me in. <laughs> no. Into the door. He like, uh, I'm sorry, but you know, protocols, we can't let you in. We can't prove that you go to the school. Ah. And I'm like, damn, like you my teacher. Nah. So this is big. Like this is college. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, so, so this is an interesting topic. But anyway, <laughs> like it's crazy because. You know, no one in my family ever graduated from college, so I wanted to be that guy. Yeah. I just, you know, it was just something cool to say. So I was trying to go to college. So I couldn't get into the SAT. So they wanted me to reschedule it, but that was also another fee of $50. That's SAT uh. was $50. So at the time, 17, you know, pushing carts, working, mm-hmm. couldn't afford it. So in my head, I'm like, you know what? College ain't for me. So there was a teacher. In that moment. There was a teacher, uh, my English teacher, um, Miss Bailey. So shout hey, out to shout her. Out Ms. Bailey, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Miss Bailey. Shout out to Miss Bailey. So uh, <laughs> she pulled me to the side and she was like, you know, she's like, honey, she was like, why do you want to go to college? And I was like, business. And she was mm-hmm. like, listen, she was like, business isn't what you know. Business is who you know. Mm. She kept it real. Yeah. <laughs> she kept it real. And, it, and it's real simple. Hey, it's like, she kept it real. Man. It's real simple. And like at that moment, I'm like. Well, I ain't going to college. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if I get out here and network, I ain't going to college. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So at the time, I had just enrolled in cosmetology school. I was a junior. So uh, normally you enter as a sophomore and you finish your last two years within high school and you finish with your certificate, whatever it is. So at the time, I was a, uh, I was a junior. I started my senior year and I was like, well, I'm going a, I'm to a take it there. And, um, to answer your question... How did I get into that shop? Yeah. So that's actually the shop that made me start cutting hair. So mm. I'll go there all the time. Like, you know, like, I want to cut hair. I want to cut hair. And they'll laugh. They yeah. wouldn't really, like, take me serious. Mm-hmm. So uh, eventually I finished high school, everything. Got my license. And I was like, yo, like, I got my license. Yeah, what's up? And <laughs> he was like, you're hired. And I'm like, damn. Hey, just like, like just that. Just like that. He, <laughs> he told me no previously about five, six times, like, they wouldn't take me serious. Mm-hmm. So I get in the shop, got my license, everything cool. <laughs> Go to hang up my license, right? Uh-huh. Gotta hang that up. That's, that's, yeah, a, tro- that's a trophy. Yeah, it's a trophy, yeah. I'm the only one in the shop with my license. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's crazy. Because I'm like, damn, this is what, this was my golden ticket. Yeah. And nobody got a golden ticket. Yeah. So to me, it just kind of like, Blasted it, blasted it. But that, that was the best. Good. That was the best thing I could have done. Cause for that, I'm in the position that I'm in now. So if mm-hmm. I have now, I wouldn't have been able to maneuver where I maneuver. A lot, a lot of barbers don't have their license, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You know, you pick up the skill, you know how to cut. That's cool. But don't but, you have to have that to be in the shop, though? Essentially, yes. 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 <laughs> 
There's yeah. nobody checking. For sure, yes. Yeah. We won't even get too much into yeah, it, but, yeah, but if you if you know how to cut, you know how to cut. cut and we yeah. respect it. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Like it's cool. Okay. Yeah, 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 I get you. So, so as simple as that. So so you leave that shop. Like, what was the decision to leave that shop because of COVID or is cause you feel like you outgrew that or like okay, what so was the-, the original plan was um at the time COVID happened, I wanna say um I think I just turned twenty one. Okay. So currently twenty three. So my plan right there was actually to uh to open up my own shop fresh out of uh mm. fresh out of that shop I was gonna open my own shop. Cool yeah. happened. So I met uh I met somebody, you know, via Instagram, one of my boys. Shout mm. out Rich Cuts. Great okay. barber. Definitely one of the I best saw, barbers yeah, in the town for sure. Yeah. Um I met him, he was like, Yo bro, I'm opening my own shop, blah blah blah. Mm. You know, like I see a lot of potential in you, I would like, you know, like for you to work for me. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So Fuck it. I was like, I've already been in Princeton, previous to Ewan. Okay. I was in Ewan. Yeah. And I'm like, why not just go to train? So COVID ended and I go to train. So I was like, I could expand, you know, one more time. And I ended up there, stayed there for two and a half years. Dang. And uh, opportunity fell in my lap and I ran with it. And that's what put me where I'm at now. So, so now, before I get to that though, <laughs> oh, cause I, I'm, I'm trying to build up to, to, to your accomplishment, but, yeah. um, but throughout all of that, like, what was some of like, I guess I'm gonna ask you a two part question. Like, what was some of the best things that happened to you throughout your experience moving through shops? And what was like one of the biggest things you learned moving throughout those shops? So one of the best things that happened to me, mm-hmm. relationships. Like mm-hmm. for me, like I'm the type of person, if I do something, I'm doing it wholeheartedly. So I'm putting my, I'm putting everything into it. Like mm-hmm. feelings involved, business, business involved, like, I'm all in. That's just who I am. I can't really help that. Yeah. So, uh, relationships for sure. Like, that's probably the best thing I gained, like, out of this journey so far. Like, just relationships in general. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I forgot the second part of the question. The, uh, what was one of the biggest lessons you learned? It's funny because it's kind of, like, ironic, but, uh, you can't mix business and personal. Yeah, that's it. So, it's crazy because... <laughs> Like the best thing that we happened to talk me. Talk about that. The, oh the best God. thing, the best thing that happened to me for sure hey. was relationships. And the the hardest lesson I had to learn, you you can't mix business and personal. I had a friend tell me he's like, yo, bro, like if if you took your business mindset and my feelings, he was like, you'll be unstoppable. Yeah. And like I can't do it. I can't yeah. do it, bro. If I do something, my heart is in it. it just is what it is. Yeah, because the the ones closest to you, those the ones that you wanna. You want with you, you want to ride with you, you want to, you you want know, to help them out. It's not even so much of that because it's always mutual, it's just mm-hmm. more or less like, uh, how can I say, like, you know, your feelings always like it's just as a barber, you work, you get what I'm saying, especially yeah. like if you're consistent, you might be in the shop 70 80 hours a week, so mm-hmm. like, you're the first person in, the last person out, whatever it is, you're gonna see this saying, you know, you're gonna yeah. at all the shops I've worked at. You see them people every single day. You're working 70, 80 hours, like you build that relationship. So it's like, it's definitely cool, but you know, leaving the shop is always hard. And it's just simple as that. But I seen like Darnell said something too, like I was seeing that and it's just, you know, like, uh, like elevation mm-hmm. comes with separation at the same time. Yes. And it's, it's, it's just, yes. it's what it is. Like it's growth, mm-hmm. it's growth. A hundred percent. And, and how, how how you deal with like that separation from people that you that you fuck with the most? Like those the ones that I wanted, not even wanted, but these the ones that I'm cool with, and it's like they not around. Like how do you deal with that? You, you don't. It's still there. It's just mm-hmm. a mental barrier. It's still there. It's a mental barrier. It's like it's like it's like how, like some of the thoughts of what you eat it's not in my table. Mm-hmm. Not not even that. It's just mm-hmm. everybody's everybody's good. It's just it's a mental barrier. It's not. It's an illusion. It's not really there. You get what I'm saying? Like everybody is still there. They mm-hmm. just not physically there. Physically. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I, you. I get you. So it's I just a mental you. barrier. I get you. They're not with you. With you, with you with, right there with, with you doing. With right. You guys are still there. Exactly. Yeah, because because like I feel like as we like you said we grow, we either unintentionally or intentionally fall off with those people, um, that we care about the most because of we're still focused on what we're doing. So how do you balance like keeping a, a, a personal life versus making sure my business is intact? Cause it's I feel crazy. like we do need to separate. 
I don't separate. Yeah. And like even on my Instagram, like you'll see like I post barbering and I post my lifestyle. And everyone's always like, yo, bro, like make a separate Instagram, you'll do better. And I'm like, I'm like, mm. my Instagram provides you with my business and my personal because I want you to see what I do and I want you to see the lifestyle that it provides me with. The real me. I don't right. want to give you this. Everything's real. Nothing's. I mean, of course, I only post my highlights. Like, they don't really see that I'm in the hours, oh, 80 yeah. hours a week. They see, mm-hmm. damn, like, he doing this, he doing that. But they don't really know what's going on. Even the clients. They only in the chair 30 minutes every two weeks. Exactly. But I'm, that's out of 80 hours, 70 hours. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, it's definitely deep. How do you how, how you how you deal with those uh those annoying clients? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a couple of them. It's a couple like, of them. It's like, oh my bro, I'm gonna get to you, bro. It's like like how you deal with those people. So like to separate that, we just simply did appointments. So mm-hmm. so this for me, this is big. Like this is how I look at it. So we do appointments. I always mm-hmm. get clients in my chair and they're like, yo, they're like, I was going to so and so and uh he just got comfortable. He's not consistent no more. He's not cutting my hair how he, how he first was when he first yeah, started. He fell off. Like, what happened? <laughs> he fell off. So, in my head, I'm like, okay, that's everyone's problem that comes to me. Mm. Or people leave my chair and go to other people's chair, too. That might be their problem. Like, yeah, it's possible. You, you, you don't take that no certain way? You can't because it's business. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't. Yeah. Like, at first, I started off with no clients. All my clients come from a different barber. This is mm-hmm. how it goes. Like, one person leaves, two people come. That's just, yeah, that's a fact. For sure. That's, that's 100% fact. <laughs> but, uh, so I was kind of trying to figure out, like, how can I cut these people and how can I stay consistent at the same time and give them that same haircut? Mm-hmm. So I was like, appointments. Because you figure everyone gets in your chair, they got 30 minutes in my chair. Yeah. So, and that's the business side of it. We definitely get personal within that 30 minutes. Like, we know we talk, we, I get to know them, all that. Mm-hmm. Cool. It's they cool. say y'all know the most secrets. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to say that, but they say y'all know the most secrets. Hey. We're going we to get to that. We're going to get to that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm like, but, uh, <laughs> our business dollars. Yeah. Most secrets. But, most. But, <laughs> but what I'll say is this. Like, I figured if I could go 30 minute increments, if I can get that done, mm-hmm. if you sit in my chair and I cut your hair right in 30 minutes and you yeah. like it, well, next time you get in my chair, you still have 30 minutes. So yeah. you're going to like it. You're going to mm-hmm. get the same product every single time. So that was kind of how I did, like, mm-hmm. did that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I like I like that. So 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 what about these clients and they and they and they, and they secrets? Like how you process that? Like like what's what's that like? Cause it's like crazy. Said, so like I get home, I get home. <laughs> nah, this is real. Yeah, this I, need, is, I need to hear this. <laughs> this is real though. This is what they don't see. Seriously, nah, this is real. Like yeah. I get home, I get home, mm-hmm. I shower, I sit down. Yeah. And I sit down, like I just think about my day. I reflect, yeah. like no Girl. phone, no nothing. Because like, you gotta yeah. think, you gotta think. So <laughs> you heard so many conversations, <laughs> so many. But listen, though, listen, though, yo, it's really deep, bro. Like <laughs> it's really deep. So, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm doing like 20, like probably, you know, 15, 20 heads on a busy day. Yeah. So those conversations, that's 15 to 20 conversations. That's 15 mm-hmm. to 20 personalities. That's 15 to 20 different stories. We can keep going. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But like these people, like they vent to me. Like some people, you know, it's cool. Some people is deep. Some people is yeah. sad. Some people is happy. Like mm-hmm. some don't just don't talk. Right. And it's good for them because they're leaving relieved. They get it yeah. off their chest. I'm going home now. with yeah. everything. For everything. You a therapist. Everything. For real. <laughs> you an unpaid therapist. And man. like, for you real, for real. for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> someone told me that. Hey, they charge both. Hey, bro, what do you do to protect yourself? Man? Get out. I like, like you. Like, from all that energy that's man. just coming. Like, that's, all day. That's been I, like, like, we said you sit down and chill, but what do you, like, I throw it at somebody else. <laughs> 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 Hey, say, hey, take this shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 hey, no. I must say, that's hella honest. Hey. No, no. I'm playing, I'm playing. For real, for real, like, yeah. like that's what come, that's what come with it. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you might not know that once you get into it, but at the end of the day, that's what come with it. And that's mm-hmm. what I mean, like, when I do something, like, my heart is involved because people do talk to me. And sometimes I get home, and it's probably, like, 10 o'clock at night. And I reach out to some specific clients about conversation that we've had. Mm. And I'm like, bro, like, I just want to let you know, like, I listened. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm. if you ever need somebody, like, I am here for that. Yeah. That's dope, yeah. And and yeah, I ain't going to lie. That's, like, that's hard. Yeah. And, like, that's just, like, who I am as a person. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. sometimes I go, like, even the other day, like, I went home and, like, damn, like, bro was really telling me some shit. Mm-hmm. And I go home and I be like, uh, 
I think about it and, and it is on my mental. So I text them so that they know that I'm thinking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's deeper than just a haircut. It really yeah. is. Like, it really is. Like, you really build them with these people. Like, yeah, for sure. In, in, in the process. Like, and on top of that, you like, it's, that, it's that safe space and it's letting people know, like, yeah, it's okay to talk. For sure. Because, <laughs> yeah. And and that's that's a problem that I think that this generation got. Like, they want to keep everything built in. They want to be yep. They want to be hard. They want to be cool. And, and it's not even that. Like, we human. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So <laughs> like, like we still gotta release. Yeah, like, like and I'm some a, people. I'm gonna mess up that. today. I'm gonna mess up tomorrow. Right. I'm not perfect. Right. <laughs> and, and I'll be honest too. Like it's some days where like I'm venting to my client, so it's mutual. Yeah. So it's definitely. But cool. you built that rapport with them because you let them know like yo, I'm listening. For sure. For sure. <laughs> like, so now they like, bro, what you got going on? Right. Right. <laughs> like, like, and it's know, funny. I'm always talking. Yo, it be some days where like. I'm telling the same story 20 times, like 20 times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like every single uh-huh. client, I'm telling the same story. It was on your spirit. Like, right, right, right. It was right. on your heart. So everybody <laughs> get it 20 times. <laughs> y'all all going to hear this today. <laughs> like, hey, like hey. I listen to y'all. Where? My turn. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> my, my turn. You feel me? Yo, like, but seriously. No, for real, for real. Nah, but the, but but that, that's that's important, though, that you're building like, that foundation with people. Because like you said, like the cut is cool, but it's like... I'm having conversations with people that I'm listening and most conversations that these, most people will never have. So the fact that you get to just retain so much because right. it's all like different stories, like nobody's right. story is the same, right? like at, at all. So if you just to get to hear that, like that's the point of this podcast, too. But it's like you getting it at a triple rate, though. Like I can control right. mine. Like <laughs> I can control yeah. mine. You get it at a boom, 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 right, boom, boom, right, right. boom. Um, but um so so this is the part i wanted to build up to so you moved from all those shops and then next thing you know you just you 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 built up to your own shop right like so i definitely want to give you applause for that it's gonna be applause on that i appreciate oh um, but yeah what was that like what was that process like man like because this is this is something that most people accomplish when they in like 30s and 40s so you did this at said 23 23 yeah what was that what was that like um the opportunity kind of fell on my lap the lady reached out to me. She like, hey, you know, like, I heard you're busy. I know you booked up. Uh, I got a spot available for rent mm. if you want it. Long story mm. short, I went in there. I didn't like it at first. And then I kind of yeah. just went home, pondered on it, thought about it, painted my vision. And I went back. She she actually texted mm-hmm. me again and she was like, hey, like, I want you to come up one more time. <laughs> Are you so, sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went back and I was like, you know what? Like, people never, re- like, the opportunity fell in my lot. So I'm like, yeah. Why not just go with it? Like we can go. Like this is what's next, cause I didn't really know what was next. Like I was, I was thinking for a while, like I'm just gonna move to like you know like a popular city and just do my own thing. Yeah. But I'm like, why would I leave what I've already built? Yeah, so, to start all over. And and it was a, it's hard. Like you said, how was it? Like it's hard. It's simple as that. Yeah. Like, like I definitely I kept it low key. I as you should. It. Less people, people know the better. Right. People seen it and uh. Yeah, like. It's hard. It's just hard, bro. It's a lot of it's a lot of hours. Like yeah. people on my Instagram, they only seeing like I travel a lot, so they seeing mm. the trips, they seeing they seeing the accomplishments, but they're not seeing what's really going on behind. Like mm. I barely post my Instagram story. I barely like that's really like what's going on. Mm. So it's just it's definitely not easy. It's just a lot of hard work, long Dang. nights. But you was willing to put in that work though, only because I know that I just don't want to be a regular person. Like, and not, and not even really that, like, mm-hmm. I just don't want to be like the regular, like, okay, like, I'm doing this every single day forever. Like, yeah. I'm someone who needs change. I like change. Yeah. So, whether mm-hmm. it's for better or for worse, like, mm-hmm. I'm willing to go in for change. And it's just simple as that. Um, when, when, when you finally, like, turned that key and it was all said and done, like, what was that feeling like? And <laughs> when you was like, yo, it's here. It's crazy. Because when I... And that's something that I told myself, like, when I first entered it, like, after everything. Because there was a point where I didn't go into the shop after, like, it was getting, like, remodeled and everything. Mm-hmm. I didn't go in there for, like, a month straight because I was so tired of everything. I didn't want to be in there. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? I'm going to hire people. I'm going to let them do their job. And I'll go in there when it's done. So last Monday was my first day. And I'm still the only barber. I walked in there. And I'm like, mm-hmm. damn. Like, <laughs> hey, yo. I did it. This me. And, and that and that was actually like a cool feeling. Like it was just like you know what, like I did it, like, and that's yeah. it. And now it's time to get to work. It's time to get to work. It's time to time like, to get to work. I'm not gonna lie, like I haven't. Everyone's like, yo, like you know, you should celebrate. 
And I'm like, nah, because this is where it all counts. I'm about to celebrate that. Let me get to it first. (laughs) Right. And like, let me get to it first. And that's my thing. Like, so I've been cutting for about like five years now. Mm -hmm. November 2nd made five years. And I was like, uh, like all that hard work is cool. But Mm -hmm. I I personally feel like this is where it matters the most. Especially because this is my name now. So Mm -hmm. it's like, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like right now I have no workers, like I said prior, but if someone is working for me, if they get a bad haircut, it's not so and so with a bad haircut. It's like, damn, I went to Vinny's shop and got messed up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, I yeah. feel like this is where everything matters most. And Vinny so, um, hiring bullshit people. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's how, they, that's, that's how yeah. it's going to go. So, the them long hours turned into longer hours now. Like, I'm even putting in more hours. Mm-hmm. Just trying to make sure everybody's satisfied. Mm. So, you look, you looking to get barbers? I would like to. I definitely would like to. But I, I just want someone who's going... That you know that's gonna, gonna be. work. Hey, so you so you been you not you not holding out, but you like you vetting everybody. I, yeah, I just need someone who's gonna work. Dang. Simple as that. How, how many how many you looking for? Like you just want two or three? Like you want like a bunch? Like two or three is cool. Two or three. Yeah, two or three is cool. I don't want too many. And um, but I guess <laughs> I guess I guess I'm trying I'm trying to trying to figure out is is when you do get these people like. For you being the owner now, like, how do you, how are you going to like maintain these people? Because you're dealing with as as being the person that's quote unquote in charge. Like, somebody's always going to be like somewhat disgruntled. Um, so now you're gonna have people working for you. Like, how you going to handle that and keep these people happy? Treat them like family. Like, and I, and I think that's what like that's what matters the most. Like, like I said, like you build relationships with these people. So. Obviously, like, I live on my own now, but, like, previously, like, when I first started cutting hair, I was probably, like, 18. Yeah. I still lived at home and everything. Mm-hmm. But I'm seeing these people in the shop more than my mom. Yeah. And the first shop that I worked at, it wasn't friendly environment. So it's yeah. like, damn, like, I'm surrounded with y'all more than my mom, giving y'all my time, more than my family, my more energy. than everybody, yeah. And this what y'all do with it, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And definitely, <laughs> like, like I said, like, I've been in many shops. I've been in about four, four shops. And, like... I've had shops where like I love going to work, and and that's that's what it's all about. Like waking up, being happy. Like we all gotta work at some point. Like everyone's gonna keep working, whether you enjoy it or you don't. But mm-hmm. the goal is to enjoy it, so it's not like work. Oh yeah. So it's like you turn your passion to your paycheck, and it's like I'm not settling for, for, for nothing sure. that's gonna be toxic environment. I'm gonna create my own environment. For sure. That's and dope. and that's, that's and that's something like that I could say. Like mm-hmm. all the shops that I've been in, it's something that I just don't like. And it's nothing towards nobody. It's just the it's, environment. I always find something I don't like. And my mom used to always be like, she's like, you know what, Vinny? She's like, you're not going to like it until you make it. Until yeah. you do it yourself. That's until what you, it was until you create it. You get what I'm saying? You had to figure it out on your own. You had to go through it. Right. Yep. And even now, like, i only been in the shop like seven days. But, like, if I Damn. go inside the shop and I don't like something, which I haven't yet. But, like, if, yeah. I, if I don't like something, it's my fault. Mm-hmm. It ain't no one else's fault. You only blame yourself. Bro. Exactly. And that's and I like yourself. that. That's yeah. cool. That's, you, nah, that's I can't ball, point finger. That's bullshit. Yeah. That's ball, you you, you yeah. already knew that you that you wanted to be a, your, your your own boss. Right, right. right. That's 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 boss. That's yeah. boss problems that you go through. Exactly. Not liking the place that you're at. Right. Mm-hmm. So like, long story short, like, oh, yeah. I yeah. want them people just to feel welcome. Like the way I created the shop, like personally, yeah. it's just supposed to be like a modern kind of style. Like where I know, like if somebody walks in, they're not gonna want to leave. They're gonna want to be like, damn, like this is different. Yeah, I'm you trying to stay saying? here. Right, <laughs> right I'm right. trying to chill here. Right, bringing that barbershop vibe back. Exactly. So just like, and it's crazy you said that too, cause you go in the shop and everybody on their phone. It's like yeah. it's ten people in the shop, they all on their phone. Yeah, like bring out the chessboard, man. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> ain't nobody cracking jokes. Like, yeah, like what are y'all doing? <laughs> like, like, like what? We supposed to have the TV on, right. watching the game? Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I get what you're saying. Um, <clears throat> but uh. <sighs> I want to say I feel like I can make this question more specific, but top uh, three pet peeves as a barber. Hey, top three pet peeves. Hey, only get three. Oh, you could do more. Uh, I, I asked five, but people say that's too much. But five. So, so, so I start off with this one right here. It's the main one. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of people get it, when they get the haircuts, you know. Mm-hmm. If the barber's trying to turn your head a specific <laughs> way, <laughs> don't fight him. You get what I'm saying? Become make it, <laughs> make it easy for us. Make it easy for us, please. <laughs> that's only one though. That's only one yeah, though. Yeah, that's yeah, that's one. That's yeah, definitely more like, that's, like you be fighting. 
Like he's like, bro, relax. Like I'm just trying to Like I'm in here eight to eight, man. Make this well, easy for make me. Make this easy. Word. I'm on my feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, that's even one. if it is uncomfortable. Like <laughs> I'd rather you be uncomfortable for two minutes than me for twelve hours. Yeah, ex- you get what exactly, I'm saying? Exactly, bro. Like, you get to go home after this. I gotta do another one. <laughs> another one. Or right, two, two. So like, if you on your phone when I'm cutting your hair, oh. it's up to God at that point, like. <laughs> Cause you you fighting it Yeah And, and you on your phone And I'm like bro Like uh, keep your head up please I don't wanna be like Yo bro do me a favor Get off your phone man yeah. like, I ain't trying to right. do that So I'm like bro You keep your head up please <laughs> But like now nah, they, they on their phone Head I'll, down I'll, like, I don't do my phone So how I'm gonna shape you up Just close your eyes and relax It's yeah. peaceful You know Yeah yeah I, And I this ain't everybody This is yeah. like a select few Nah cause you know How the people be Where they just gotta be on the phone They talking on the phone On speaker Right 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 Oh um, They uh, uh 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 They playing the game They texting crazy It's like yo Nah, I agree. I keep, I keep my right, phone right, in my pocket. Right. All right, all right. I'm, a, I'm gonna try to go for five, but right now yeah, I'm trying yeah. to go out the top. Right. So, just three. Uh, just three. Another one, and this, this one a little, this one a little strange, man. I posted this on my story <laughs> a couple times, man, because I can't deal with the buzz like this, man. <laughs> do not, and y'all seen this before, man. What? Do Wait. not look me in my eyes. <laughs> 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 Yo, wait, sure. Wait. Oh, have you ever had that experience though? You got locked bro? eyes. <laughs> you locked eyes while you shape them up. I had some. I had some crazy experiences as a bar, I man. Imagine, like for man. sure. And I'm gonna lock eyes back too, because because you're not going to just do it to me. So we can have a we can have a staring competition. We can have a staring competition ten minutes in for sure. I got all day, buddy. Yeah. High ground be low ground. What we doing? And sometimes you gotta turn away real quick, cause the client. You know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. you gotta turn it real quick. It might get a little weird. I know you. It's one of them stairs. You get me? Like, <laughs> like bro, stop, <laughs> please. Like I close my eyes, bro. Uh-huh. I close my yeah, eyes. Just make, let's make this smooth and easy. My bro. eyes closed and my elbows yeah. are in at all. Time. I was about to Yo, say that. I was about to say that. That's number four. I was about okay. to say, don't put them elbows on that arm. And, and, and I tell people, I don't, nope. I tell people, feet and hands in the vehicle at all times, buddy. Oh, that's a good that's one. That's, that's a good like, one. That's a, that's a good that's one. Dope, like, man. please, please, please. There you go. Cause oh, like, you know, that's my back support when I'm leaning on that chair, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, definitely. So, please. I know, yo, I learned that when I was a child, bro. Yeah. Now, I'm like, I know where, I know where the height I'm at. Come on, yeah. bro. It's crazy because, like, yeah. like I experienced it as a child. I ain't gonna oh lie. My God, bro. but I never picked up on it until I seen the meme. And I'm like, hey, bro, this whole yeah. time, and now here I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like now, like, now yo, I'm on the other side. That's like, that's like the unspoken rule at the barber shop. Like it's like sure. you should just know, elbows in. Hey, it's still it's still a couple of them that gotta learn, man. Yeah, they don't they don't they don't know no better. Like, Just keep your elbows inside the chair, man. Hey, oh my god, yo. please. Hey, right, see if you can pull out one more. So know that, ladies, some of y'all, um, y'all, uh, <laughs> y'all, uh, man crush Mondays be having their elbows oh, out for sure, for sure, and, and, for sure. be, and be staring at <laughs> barbers in the Just eyes. Go with him one time to get a haircut. Watch how he put his elbows <laughs> <Hey>, out. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> he weak, man. Cause he naturally gonna do it too. He For naturally sure. gonna put them elbows out, yo. Hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the barber gonna give you that look, like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, you I got one of on. these clients, yeah. yo. Oh, man. oh my god. Try for a fifth one. <laughs> oh. Yeah. For a fifth one. Um. Let me see. If you, if you, damn, I can't even say this one. I'm gonna go with this one. I had this. I had a couple people, right? I like uh put the Clippers. On their neck and stuff, you know, shave the beard. Man. And for some reason, I'm I'm not sure why they find it ticklish. So that's that's definitely a big pet peeve of <laughs> mine. Like, I can't really stand that one right there. Like, yeah, I get, but that's almost <laughs> risk for you fucking up their shit too. For sure, for sure. <laughs> hey, yeah, see, bro, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, um, I get uh, I get ticklish um, up here around the lip. Oh, he wanted them. But I fight that. it. I fight it. I don't fool. I don't bring. I don't break. I don't and that, fool. And that's what make you a man. Yeah, because I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> 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 like I'm already know. I, I can't help it. We appreciate like, you, but I know it's coming. You feel me? Because I'm like, Paul. I'm like, yo, I'm like, oh man, here it go. Here we here appreciate go. you. We appreciate I'm, you. I'm like, yo, I gotta fight this. Like, you I, know I what's gotta, crazy? Oh, a couple people lost their mustache like that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yo, see, I'm like, boo. 
<laughs> and it's even deeper because next time you get a haircut, it's gonna be on your mind. Yeah, this conversation. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's gonna be on your mind. And 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 you know what? Also, I do like I try to like like butt my lips like sometimes depending on the the barber want me to do. I'm there. Yeah, like just just to make it easy. But I, I know tell him, I'll be like, "Oh, bro, tuck your lip." Yeah, I tell him. Yeah, see, yeah, see, like, I got see. rules for the chair. I, ain't gonna, I got some rules for the chair. If you want this cut to look good? Uh-huh. Hey, uh-huh. You, you go at the follow this. <laughs> I got, I got yo, some rules. What's up with y'all on the alcohol though, yo? Like, like spraying the alcohol. Like, y- y'all like seeing this burn? Damn. So I actually just got this tool this past Sunday. It's like a, uh, you press a button, it's electric, and it shoots a mist of alcohol. Mm. So don't it doesn't really burn. Oh, okay, you, you get what I'm saying. Appreciate it, my yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. Word is hey, and it's crazy because I just hey. I just started using it uh, yesterday actually, and my clients like, damn, like what's this? I'm like, just close your eyes, bro. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You. Like yeah. it's cool, it's cool. I got you. It's yeah. cool. Yo, that that's hard. Oh, um, yo, what the? Because I feel like this is all barbers can't do this, and or not not can't do this. They just suck at it hmm. using a razor. Man. Like how you how do you, how do you go about using a razor? Because so, like a lot of barbers end up giving people razor bumps. One of the first shops I worked at, they actually uh, they actually didn't <clears throat> allow razors. Mm. And uh, I would actually send the clients home with a razor. Like yo, bro, like, you can just do it yourself. You get what I'm saying? Like they just mm. won't allow me to. But when I got into the uh, second shop. Everyone was, used a razor. It was all using razor. On the razor. neck, all that. I had, to say, I had to tell them to stop in the back. Yeah, yeah, I'm for like, sure, nah. for sure. And under here. I'm right, like, right. Nah, you're going to make me break out. But you got to you gotta adapt. So that's how I kind of learned how to use the razor. And I learned, like, as you're talking about at a real early age, like, uh, mm-hmm. you have to know where or when you cannot use the razor. So mm-hmm. I don't use the razor on all my clients, actually. Okay. If you know what you're doing, the cut should be good regardless. The mm-hmm. razor is just to get the little hairs that you cut off prior. Mm. So uh, for me personally, for coarse hair, neck, the back of the neck, bottom of the neck, razors off limits. Sometimes even yep. on the uh, on the faces off limits. Mm-hmm. But the key really is, mm. is like, like like if I'm tapering your neck, I can't go down the skin. But some people want to taper, so you do it right above skin so that the hair mm-hmm. doesn't get stuck in the skin. So that's what that's what the razor bump is. A lot of people think it's infections. Just just quick class on. Yeah. A lot of people like, oh yeah, it's an infection. <clears throat> I mean, it could turn into that. But a razor, like your barber's not dirty. Everyone cleans their clippers, they do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, because that was one of the things right. barbers is dirty. Yeah. Your hair just gets stuck under your skin and it curls up before it can make it out your skin. So it turns before it comes out of the skin. That's a razor bump. Now you got a bump. And that hair gonna keep mm-hmm. growing, so the bump's gonna keep growing. You can't pop that bump. You simply grab a, a pair of tweezers and you tweeze the hair out. You look yeah. for the hair, you tweeze it out. Yeah, my girl be doing that. Uh-huh. I ain't gonna lie. I'm feeling uh-huh. good though. I ain't gonna lie. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, like, yeah, get them, uh-huh. get them. Like, she like she love it too. Like. Right. So as simple as that, like, that's the razor bump. Um, what's the what's the purpose of a hot towel, like, before the razor? Uh, it opens up the pores. It softens mm. the hair. It makes it easier. It's not painful. It's less painful. Mm, moisturizing the skin. Exactly. Mm. Softening okay. the hair. Okay. All right. Yeah. I definitely like that. But, um, wait. <laughs> go, go back to the shop, though. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah, let's get back on track. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, we good, though. We, yeah. we, we definitely going good. But, um... Like I said, as far as the shop, like, like, what's the direction? Like, you going? Did you want to do more? You want to just keep this one going? Like, how how far do you want to take? Like, what you're doing? Um, I spoke with a couple owners this past Sunday, mm-hmm. um, and I kind of asked them like, what direction should I take? I'm always open for advice or criticism. Like, I'm always yeah, open to should. it. So that's how you grow. I'm, I'm asking other people, you know, like that I know own the shop that I'm. Uh, I was at a barber convention, seen a couple people. And I'm like, what would you do? Or like, what do you suggest? Mm-hmm. And both people that I spoke to, like, yo, bro, like, I started off with this many chairs, now I got this many chairs. It's mm-hmm. been this many years. And it's mm-hmm. it's the same thing. It's just growth. So it's just mm-hmm. like, you know, like, eventually I would like to get more chairs. Yeah. But I'm trying not to get ahead of myself because I just started this. So Smart. I'm trying to take it, like, a day at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, if I do hire people, then, like, in two years, I'll probably look to get them more. But, like, right now, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm definitely enjoying my piece. My, yeah, my, my I long time. Say, yeah, definitely. And I think my clients are, too. So, because when you got other people in there, they're gonna be like, damn, bro, right. they're they gonna be happy for you, but it's just like, damn, I was used to this vibe, right? For me. And for me, for me, it's a little deeper than the money, so like mm-hmm. a couple extra hundred dollars a week or whatever, I'm not really worried about it if my clients is enjoying it because that's I'm not without my clients, you get what I'm saying? I want it for them, right? And, <laughs> and honestly, like, if I cut zero heads in a day, I get zero dollars, exactly, and I've been there so. 
I know mm. how that feels and I ain't trying to go back. So it's, mm. it's definitely deeper than the money. Like my, my clients come first. Without the people, there ain't no money. So Yo, how 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 you, how you feel about super uh not off topic but still off topic, but how you feel about those people that like when you be like, yo, yo, come on, I got you, they like, nah, bro, I'm waiting for such and such. Like <laughs> how you how you feel about this? I mean, I've been in that situation before. I, how you I definitely take that? Have. How you take that? Walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta walk off yeah. quick too. You got Cause, five seconds. Cause you feel confident too. Yeah, bro, I got you. But the best, the best part about, the, like, nah, bro. <laughs> but look though, the best part about that is it only lasts five seconds. So, yeah, if, so if yeah. you know, you know, you just yeah. walk away real quick. You can come back in five seconds though. You can bounce back. <laughs> But I've been there. But shout out, shout out to the appointments, man. I don't gotta worry about it. No worry, more. worry. I ain't gotta worry about none of that. And that's none another that. cool thing, like being on my own. If people come in the shop, I know it's for me. Yeah. So that's a good feeling. Exactly. Cause it ain't no one else in here. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Yo, um. So, like I said, I asked you this before, but it's like yeah. no, it's basically no off days. Do you do you take Sunday off too, or you you do like? So Sunday is my mental day. Sunday. All right, like, so you do close the shop for, for, one, for one day. For Sunday. Okay. All right, cool. I was about to say, damn, bro, on his feet, seven days a week. No, nah, no, nah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, all right. so Sunday is like my day, but like, you know, food shopping, laundry, cleaning the crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole it's bunch chilling, of like running yeah. errands. Mm-hmm. But it's still a piece of mind, and that's that's what I want. Hey, look, that's, that, that's dope. Uh, also, I, I got a couple more questions to ask you, but. Like I said, for the people that don't know, like shout them out, shout your Instagram out, um, let, let them know where they can reach out to you, et cetera, et cetera. Sure. So my Instagram is uh, Vinny Santiago underscore. And yeah. If you want to book an appointment, you click the link in the bio, the book now <clears throat> button, and we take it from there. Yeah. I, I ain't going to lie, though. <clears throat> it's two things that us customers, we don't like that What's you that? barbers is doing now. Hey, prices. <laughs> Uh huh. Which is I, I respect, but I'm just speaking for the people that don't I like understand. this conversation. Prices, yeah. and appointments. Okay, these are the two things that we had pet peeves with so, because it used to be. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because I know you're ready to, 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 yeah, to give ready, it. I already, already know. <laughs> but let me say this for the people: um, we so used to just walking into the barber shop and just knowing our barber is going to be free. Like if I know, I'm like, yo, twelve o'clock on Wednesday, he going to be free, right? Then I'm used to then I'm used to like the 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 ten dollar shape up, fifteen dollar cut. Right? Sure. Then things started so with with the tip. Obviously, I'm, a, yeah, I'm yeah, always yeah. tip. Tips are appreciated though. Yeah, they not they not expected. They yeah, just appreciate. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I feel like you are doing a service. So I, I do want a tip. Right. But um, but yeah, then, then I jumped up to like twenty, twenty five, thirty, fifty, hundred fifty dollars. It's like. It's like, damn, like, so just, I, to, uh, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I'm not, I'm not mad at it, but I'm, I'm speaking for, sure, for people for sure, that, for sure, that, for sure. that, that are, are upset. wondering. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and I respect it. So, uh, <laughs> oh my, oh my did, did they, bro. <laughs> what? We did though. Yo. But oh, let me, let me break it down. Was a, what? Hey. So <laughs> ahead, I start ahead. off with like appointments is simply better. If you know your barber going to be free 12 o'clock Wednesday, then just let them know you're going to be there. It's simple as that. Mm-hmm. So that's real easy. That's an easy fix. Now the prices. Like as a barber, you know, I definitely speak on it. Previous to COVID, COVID, pardon me, I was charging eighteen dollars a cut. Post COVID, I'm charging thirty five, forty with a beard. Mm. So my my prices did double. Post COVID. Okay. And for for someone like myself, <clears throat> I benefit a hundred percent for sure. Yeah. Off of that. But I will say for the older barbers, forty fifty, like mm. they've been charging twenty dollars for like ten years. You get what I'm saying? So you got to think inflation is going up. And they're not seeing a difference. Y'all products cost more. So like, and this is just an example. Like gas might have went from like two dollars a gallon to like, or from like a dollar a gallon to like three dollars a gallon since they've been cutting hair, but they still charging twenty dollars a haircut. So for mm. them, it's definitely respectable. Like the prices had to go up. For me, I just had to like you know I joined in the right time, and yeah. I benefited the most. Mm, yeah, for y'all so, y'all so. Uh, <laughs> Y'all so crafty motherfuckers, man. But also, like, uh, mm-hmm. I also, I also, uh, I wash everybody's hair with their haircuts. So I'm doing a lot of oh, stuff that other okay. barbers aren't oh, doing. Yeah, see? Yo, damn, you giving them the, 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 the woo! They walking out that bitch feeling like, they walking out that bitch feeling like a brand new man. Right, like, right, right. What? So I'm hey. trying, I'm trying to do a little stuff like that just, just hey. to make it better. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, when I, when I, when I get my hair done, like, like I do the wash and blow there, 
like and then she then she do my hair oh um, right so so i so like but what I said, happens is directly after you get your hair washed you know, she's gonna put oil into your hair. Yeah. She's not a product. It's already back into your hair. Yeah. So it defeated the purpose. Mm. Cause now you're getting a haircut. You got oil, oil on your hair. The clippers ain't gonna cut through oil. Yeah, that's why I make sure I do it separately. Mm. <laughs> like I don't, I don't, I don't do the the. I make sure I go to the barber shop for the actual cut because right. I don't want it all that in the same day. Now you just playing with my head all day. Right. Like, now we like, appreciate people like you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, but also like, if a client comes to the barber shop. So you hate when they come moisturize already, like when they just put something on their face. Yeah, like, don't, don't don't do that. Because I heard one time somebody was like, "Yo, like I'm coming to the shop, like they said, I came like just fresh out the shower or whatever. Like I wanted you to to do whatever." So you hate when they right. come already. Come fresh out the shower for sure. Yeah. But uh, you know, no product. Okay. Real simple, yeah. no product. Just shower and come. All right, bet. Yeah, they not like because I heard somebody say that before when I was younger. I'm like. I'm like, oh shit. And I just learned that, I'm not gonna lie. Like probably two years ago, I just started like, yeah, bro, make sure your hair is washed. Mm. And I was taught that by like a, a, a older barber. He just told me that and definitely helps. See? Hey. And I feel I feel like, but the, going back to what we were just saying, I feel like the reason why like people need to like respect and pay more because it's like like you said, the service you offering is like a lot more than For back sure. in the day. Like For sure. Before it was just like, yo, I'm gonna cut you, can kick it whatever then it's like now it's like all right you can kick it but what i'm doing for you is like way more for sure <laughs> like then then what you was getting back then so and prices is up right now on everything for everything so. like like i said for the products y'all gotta pay for clippers right like everything that y'all got like i think like for. inflation is up probably like 7.25 percent so like everything is up and it's not just food like, right. it's, it's everything like like I said the the alcohol going up for for y'all right the the cream uh shit towels and price, <laughs> and prices don't go down people no, like, people no, always like you know stays, like yeah. nah like it's, it's staying where it's at hey, like you see gas back up right now yeah definitely <laughs> like, and those are one of the many things that do fluctuate you know gas mm-hmm. stocks real estate stuff like that yeah. but the main stuff once it's there it's stuck you know, oh yeah, yeah, ain't no, ain't no like coming that, down. Like sure. it's, we hit, we here with it right now. Like that's that, right. that's that's pretty much what it is though. Right. But um, but I, I I like to do part twos for my show. So like I said, I definitely want to revisit this in another year. You come back, like I said, you are gonna see where the shop at from then. You feel me? Because I don't like putting expectations on people. I like to see where people go. For sure. um, so like I said, much success to you. I appreciate you for coming through and take a time out with us, even though you had a I long day. You. <laughs> you had a long day, you still came out to uh sure. to um support the show. So like I said, this show is about first time experiences. Um we like to give the guests a platform to speak how they feel and like I said, I'm glad people are gonna get to know you now. They're gonna get to see you and know you for who you really are. Definitely. Um, Cause like I said, I didn't wanna put Vinny the barber on you to me. I wanna put you Vinny the person. Hey, <laughs> like, right, you're, right, yeah, right. like you're, you're, you're that, but you're also a, still a person, right? Like, treat me like a person, approach me like a person, and then we can get into all this stuff afterwards, though. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like I said, I appreciate you, bro. Um, on that note, man, I'll holla at y'all next week. Hey.